Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about those unsupported devices or most commonly known as your device can't run the latest operating system. Now obviously this is a common issue as software and hardware companies have decided to make your life with your device much shorter. But is that really the case? Today we're going to take a look at Windows, Macintosh, iPhone, and Android devices to find out what you need to do if you get the message that your device no longer will run the current OS. So it doesn't matter what device that you have, Windows, Macintosh, smartphone, or tablet, you know, there's always that instance where you get the message that your device is no longer supported. And what do you do when problems like that occur? Well, you know, let's take a look because you'd be surprised. Uh, even us tech guys run on older stuff. So first, let's talk about Windows. So on a Windows computer, you may be getting this message now that says that this PC can't run Windows 11. And you know, that is an unfortunate thing but it's not the end of the world. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's get out of this. And let me get to a desktop with nothing running. So let's get to my Windows desktop. And as you can see, I'm ecstatic about using things. So if we go to Windows and we go to set up, uh, oh gosh, let's go updates. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm gonna do this one of these days. If I can type, there we go, check for updates. So if we go to check the updates, it tells me that my computer is up to date. But as we all know, that's not the case because I'm running Windows 10 and the current version of Windows is Windows 11. Now I can go to check the updates and see if there's any updates available and there may be a security update, but I won't get the option to download to Windows 11 because it's no longer supported. Now, depending on the computer, if you haven't disabled that message, it will let you know that your computer won't run Windows 11 for one reason or another. Now, we, me being a Windows user, should I continue to use Windows 10 on my computer or do I need to just go out and get a new computer? Because that is my only option. Now, I still have two years left to run Windows 10 and for it to be quote unquote supported. And for Microsoft, Support means that you no longer get uh, security updates for your Windows computer, but it also means that if one of the hardware or software manufacturers comes out with a new version of their software, it's a good possibility it may not run with your old and unsupported operating system. When an operating system is out of date on a Windows computer, doesn't mean that the computer won't run anymore. It just means that it is no longer going to have future items support that. So you have to be aware of what you're doing as a Windows user. So if you're a Windows user and you're just a casual user checking for email and surfing the internet, then you can keep your version of Windows past the unsupported date. Now keep in mind, you will get the occasional message from Microsoft saying that your computer is no longer supported as a reminder that you need to A, if your computer is capable, to update your computer and or if that doesn't work, then you need to go through and make sure that you um, go out and purchase a new computer. Because unfortunately, those are your only options as far as your computer is concerned. Now let's take Macintosh users and what they need to do. Now Mac is a little bit different animal. Um, if you go to a specific website like Ventura, it, this recording of this video is the most current version of Mac OS. And it will tell you if you visit um, Apple's website to see if your current Mac can run Ventura. What it will give you is the breakdown of all of the different computers Macintosh makes, which includes iMac, iMac Pro, MacBook Air Pro, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, Mac Studio, and a MacBook. Tells you the years that you need to have in order for it to download the latest version 
uh, Ventura. And the other thing that may be misleading too, give me a second and I will, um, let's get out of this, minimize, let's get back to a Macintosh desktop and I'll show you the misleading portion of that. So we've got a MacBook mini that I'm running and it's currently uh, 2014 as you can see, go about this Mac, uh, it's running Monterey, or Monterey, or Monterey, whatever. Late 2014, right, gives me the specs. Now if I go to software update, if I'm a common Macintosh user, it's gonna tell me that my Macintosh computer is up to date, just like it did with my Windows computer. The challenge is, if you're a standard Macintosh user, you're gonna think, I've got the latest and greatest. But the challenge is, is that you have to make sure that you're staying current with what Apple is producing to make sure that your computer has the latest version of Mac OS. Keep in mind that every year with Macintosh, they come out with a new version of their operating system, usually in September, and then you need to check to find out if you are running the current version of Mac OS. If your version that you currently have doesn't match what's being released and won't upgrade to it, then that would be the sign that your Macintosh is beginning its end of life cycle. Now, Macintosh usually will support Macs for up to three or four years after the release of a software program or operating system. But keep in mind with your Mac, you can still continue to use your Mac if you're a casual user and you will run into the same issues as you would with the Windows computer where eventually you'll get to a point with your Mac where you won't be able to install the latest and greatest tools, which means that you would have to purchase a new Mac. Now keep in mind on both the Windows and the Macintosh side, there are shall we say, tech enthusiasts that have workarounds as far as installing the latest and greatest operating system on your computers. And if you're a casual user, I would ignore those because those steps are pretty complicated and would take someone with great technical expertise in order to make that happen. Also, there are things that are disabled if you decide to try to run an, a up-to-date operating system on an unsupported device. You may not get security updates or certain hardware features that may not work. And you want to make sure that when you have a computer that you're getting all your updates and that every piece of hardware associated with that computer is going to work. Now what about iPhone users? Let's take a look at iPhone users and say, oh my goodness, I can't update from iOS 15 or 11 or 10 to what's currently the current operating system of iOS 16. Now again on your iPhone or iPad, it will let you know that it's up to date, which is confusing because if you think it's up to date, you don't know if there's any more updates. Now like iOS devices, well I shouldn't say iOS, Mac OS devices where they are released every September, iOS devices are released around the same time. So when you check your phone by going to settings and about and look at the settings for your phone, then you need to see what updates on your phone versus what's currently out. If I were to hook up my iPhone to this computer for you to view it, it would show that I have iOS 16, letting me know that my iPhone 13 is still currently supported you have an earlier date, your iPhone or iPad is not supported by Apple, which doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Again, it's a situation where if you use your iPhone and you're not able to run specific apps on your iPhone or iPad and you need those apps, then that would be the time that you would need to update or get a new phone because there's nothing that you can do to update your device. And Last but not least, I have to say the same thing for Android devices. You've got an Android device and it's telling you your system's up to date and it hasn't been patched since 2018 or earlier, it means your i, or not your iOS, but your Android device is 
no longer support it. Again, you can continue to use it, but it may reach some point where you're not able to download the latest apps or have the latest features on your Android tablet or phone. So again, if your operating system is not supported, doesn't mean it's end of the world. It just means that you are starting or the clock is starting to tick, whereas your device will probably work as long as the battery life works or you're able to plug it in and charge it. But as far as the surrounding tech world, your old outdated device may not be able to integrate like you would with all of your devices. So use your devices for as long as you can because just because your Windows, Macintosh, iOS device or Android device doesn't have the latest version of the operating system, you can continue to use it. It's just when you get to a point where you're no longer to do anything on it that you need to look in and investing for a new device. So with that said, if you have comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out if I can help you counteract that this device is not supported or operating system is not supported. With every video, I always ask that you like, share, and comment on the video. I know there's someone out there in your life that needs some tech help and these videos would obviously add something special to their lives. So my purpose with doing these videos is to make sure that everyone is able to do what they need to do with their tech devices. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.